Hey everyone, so I wanted to go through some swimsuit options for mom. As you guys know, I'm a mom. I have four little kids. My oldest is seven and obviously the rest of them are under that. And we live in Southern California, so it's pretty much always hot and my kids love swimming. I grew up swimming every day. I love the beach. And I have to say, I've always been a little bit self-conscious about my body, probably like most of you. But after becoming a mom, you know, your body goes through a lot of changes. But I told myself, I do not want to be one of those moms that don't swim and don't have fun in the water because I am self-conscious about my body. I don't want to miss out on those memories because of my, you know, body issues. So I wanted to share with you guys some of my swimsuit ideas and options and maybe it'll help you when you're looking for your swimsuits. I probably should have done this video a little bit sooner but for most of you it's probably still hot wherever you are and for those of you that maybe don't live in a really hot climate um, you know you might need a swimsuit you know throughout the year. So I'm going to go through a couple of options and they are at different price points and different uh, levels of revealing your body. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys was obviously a bikini. I feel like their bikinis are rampant at the store and it's really hard um, to get away from the whole bikini thing. Um, they are a lot easier to buy. A lot of times I end up just buying a bikini top that is cute, that is supportive. Um, and then I wear a tank top over top. If we are just like family and there is no public eye around, I'll, I will just wear the bikini. This one I got at Target, I wanna say last year, but I think they still have them this year. Um, I really like that it has the little cross detail here. Um, if you're a mom and you have little kids, you really wanna make sure that you have a top that when you bend over, nothing is showing. I had a couple of cute bikini tops that I realized at the beach when I was crouching and bending and changing diapers that uh, you could kinda see through. Obviously, you have to buy ones that also suit your breast size, um, but that is a top that I wear. A lot of times I'll wear a tank top over top and then a bikini bottom and then over top of the bikini bottoms I wear swim shorts and I have a couple of pairs of these. I have a black pair that are in the wash and I have this pair. I like the bright colors because it kind of brings a punch to your outfit but it kind of hides the booty and my booty and legs are my trouble area. Definitely have uh, some extra lumps and bumps that I don't want people to see. So especially if I'm lounging around the pool or if we're at the beach and we're building sand castles and you don't want to be crouching with your booty hanging out, this is an awesome option that I wear with also the other options. So the first one is a bikini and the second one is um, these tankinis and I actually have two of them. I bought these I want to say after I had my first daughter, um, I have a super, super long torso, so tankinis often stop at the wrong place because if you've had a baby, your trouble area on your belly is usually below your belly button. So um, if a tankini stops right at your belly button, you're like showing off the worst part. These ones, I don't know if they were specially made to be extra long but they are extra long and they are kind of ruched on the side that gives you a little bit of forgiveness in the belly area and I got it in yellow and I got it in um, this zebra print. I don't know if you can tell but the color is definitely getting a little dingy looking. It has been through like seven years um, but I not only wore these after I had a baby but these were also perfect for pregnancy because it has the ruching on the side it naturally has uh, more fabric to give and stretch out if you have a big pregnant belly so for those of you who are pregnant or maybe pregnant in the future um, this is a good um, option too and these two I got from alloy.com and I can't remember how much they were I want to say they were around $30. These do, they came with the little soft cups, but again, if you're a mom, you guys know your nipples get a lot bigger and you might not want to be poking people's eyes out with those. So what I did was, I think I got these at Target. I bought these little pads and you can insert them and they're waterproof. And these ones are good too because it has a little bit of a push-up too. So not all moms get big, busty, nice, robust boobs when they're pregnant or after. Especially after, you're going to need some help with those puppies bringing them in 
and together. So this is nice because it gives a little bit. So these are nice because it gives a little bit of a push up, but most importantly, it hides those nipples. So I got the inserts at Target, but you can get them at like any department store or, you know, lingerie store or what have you. Now this is the big mama jama of the bathing suits. I know most people don't want to spend a whole lot on a bathing suit, but if you are in the water a lot or you just are so frustrated with finding a suit that can fit your body that you're going to feel comfortable in, sometimes it's worth it to spend the extra money. So this one is the big purchase. These are from Swim and Sport and they have tons of cute uh, swimming suits on this website, but I picked the Miracle suit because it's supposed to make you look slimmer in 10 seconds, which is nice. So I picked this one and what I liked about this one, and I haven't worn it yet, but we're going away next week and we're going to be at the beach and swimming every single day, is that it's long but it's tiered, so the ruffles kind of are very forgiving in your belly area. And even though these are very soft cups, you don't see anything, and because of the tiers, you don't really... It hides everything really nicely, if that makes any sense. What I also love about this is when you're sitting outside of the pool or on the beach, you don't have to be self-conscious of your belly like hanging out or anything because it's just like wearing a cute ruffled tank top, you know? You know what I mean? It's just like super cute, really good quality. These ones are definitely more pricey. This top is $122 and I know, I know that is really pricey, but sometimes it's worth it, you guys. It is worth it to get in the pool every day with your kids. If you take good care of it, it will last a long time. Um, and I feel like a lot of times in department stores, like the swimming suits are super expensive anyways. And I was really hesitant about the sizing. I wear usually like a medium or large top. I am 5'10", I'm 140 to 145 pounds. I got the top in a size eight and it fits perfectly. And then the bottom, this is also a good bottom option. You can always buy just like one piece or whatever. Uh, but the bottom, I got this high-waisted brief because this works kind of like Spanx. And it um, tucks in your stomach. And this, this is also by Magic Suit and it's supposed to make you appear slimmer in seconds. This I got in a size 10 um, just because I was like, I don't want it to be so tight or else it'll be uncomfortable and I will not wear them. Like I said, my trouble area is more my booty and thighs. So this, my butt hanging out of this is not appealing, but I can wear it with these shorts on top. So it's like wearing a bikini bottom with shorts and it cinches everything in. It just makes you feel more comfortable about your body. But a, but a bottom like this would also work really well with any sort of tankini. So like I said, you know, some tankinis like just end at the wrong spot. If you have a bottom like this, the tankini top can be a little bit too short and you're still not gonna see skin because it, you know, the high-waisted brief is going up so high that you'll just see the black. Does that make any sense at all? Did I say what size I got? And I got this in a size 10 and it's actually quite comfortable too. I thought it was going to be uncomfortable. I've tried wearing Spanx before and I always end up taking it off before I leave the house because I just cannot stand that like really tight feeling. So anyways, those are my swimsuit options for moms. I try, hopefully I explained that well. You know, you, you can always mix and match. If there's a certain area that you really feel self-conscious about, I would really encourage you to spend that extra money and buy something that's going to make you feel comfortable so it, you're not dreading the swimming time you know like i feel like i've gone through so many times where you know i'm like getting ready for vacation or we're getting ready to go to the pool and i am just dreading getting into my swimming suit and hopefully this helps you guys a little bit um, in that area so it's a more enjoyable experience with your kids I'm definitely um, trying not to let my self-consciousness stop me from making memories. Anyways, I hope that was helpful. I will try to remember to link below where I got all of these items. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.